Alrighty, it's 537 this morning and we're asking, where's the money? This time we're talking about personality tests. Now these are assessments like the Myers-Briggs test. It's a $2 billion industry and some employers are using them to hire. A Forbes article says when it comes to using the test in hiring, personality assessments can help employers find candidates that are likely to perform well and stick around. It can also help remote teams. So let's look at some of the numbers. A Canadian bank stopped looking at resumes for out of school hires back in 2020. It opted for a focus on personality tests instead. Here's the result. The bank's percentage of black new hires rose by 5% and more than half of its hires were women. So why we're asking this morning, do you think personality tests should be used to hire? Text us at 704-329-329. 3600. I mean, guys, it, it depends on how these are used, especially if it's going to come down to is an introvert going to get the job or an extrovert going to get the job? I, I got to see some more details here. And also, we talked about every morning on Wake Up Charlotte about companies having a hard time hiring people. Maybe they don't need to be so picky. <laughs> totally. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if they can afford this luxury I mean, right now. I think the best personality test is just talking to other people that have worked with this person and say, hey, References. what are they like References. to work with? <laughs> References go a long way. Kia, thanks.